New developments in that hazing scandal in Maryland where four high school football players were accused of sexually assaulting freshman players. ABC Stephanie Ramos is in Damascus, Maryland with the latest. Good morning, Stephanie. Michael, good morning. The incident allegedly happened October 31st here at Damascus High School. The targets set to be younger and weaker players who were ambushed by the suspects before football practice. This morning, four sophomore football players from this suburban Maryland high school have been indicted for allegedly participating in the sexual assault of four younger teammates in their locker room. The maximum penalties by law uh, are up to life imprisonment. For the state's attorney guys. telling ABC News exclusively a grand jury handed down eight counts against each of the four 15 year olds, charging them all as adults for sexual assault, attempted assault and conspiracy to commit assault. Authorities now investigating the possibility that this is not the first incident at Damascus High School. Investigators say one of the suspects told them it was a so-called tradition. Parents and students at Damascus shocked. Even if it was tradition, it shouldn't be tradition at all. You know, sexual assault. It's been a, a learning experience for both uh, the students as well as the parents in the community to try to wrap their head around these events and take the necessary steps to make sure it doesn't happen in the future. The prosecutor the says he up. hopes the severity of the charges today. brings some sense of justice to the victims. By sending this to the grand jury, and, and by indicting these teens, are you hoping to send a wider message to the community, to teenagers? I'm not looking to send a message uh, to anybody beyond the boys that were the victims in this case and those who committed these crimes, that there will be accountability when you engage in the kind of activities that these boys engaged in and uh, you know, we'll try to bring some sense of justice to these boys that were violated. There's also a fifth student accused in all of this. He's being charged as a juvenile. Now, before the indictment, I spoke with the attorney for one of the suspects. He wanted all of the teens to be charged as juveniles, despite the gruesome details revealed earlier this week. As for the school district, they say they'll now handle their own investigation now that police has wrapped up their own. And Michael, they also say they'll take a closer look at their athletics program. Michael. All right, the whole thing just makes you shake your head in disbelief. Thank you mm -hmm. so much, Stephanie. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.